name is uh, Zachary Knight, and uh, my brother and I, he really was antisocial, so he never comes to anything with me. But uh, we're, we, uh, we're, we're Divine Knight Gaming, and we make, right now we're working on, uh, on Flash games, we're working on Pop One, that's inspired by Final Fantasy IX's Tetra Master. Um, if anybody played that, it's a really great mini game, a card game. And you know, way better than Tetra Man, or uh, Triple Triad from Final Fantasy VIII. But uh, but we, we both we both really liked it, so we were working on a game called we call it Demons Demons Hex. And uh, and what it is is basically the same thing, hexagons, and and we're, we changed a lot a bunch of the rules. Uh, I, I I've been playing Final Fantasy IX again recently, and its rule set and the whole you know, random battle thing is driving me nuts. <laughs> so, so what we're working on is uh, we, well, we, we, we're developing this game for play with Flash in, in a browser. Um, we're hoping to have it fully uh, uh, you know, social eventually. Um, but for a while, I've been experimenting with technologies. Um, you know, so so you know, some of these other games, like this game here called Hex Match. You know, in fact, when I was just getting started, I, I did this in vanilla, action script free, and uh, you know, just to kind of get a feel for, you know, our things as simple, you know, memory game. Um, and I did this in vanilla action script, and then eventually I moved on to a technology called, or a uh, game API called uh, Flixel. It's an action script uh, engine again, and uh, and I, have, I, I really like it. Um, uh, I who made it? But, uh, Adam Saltzman. Adam, Adam Saltzman. Yes, thank you. Um, he, he made it, and uh, you know, he used it for uh, Cannibal and a bunch of other games that he does. It's a designed <laughs> specifically for platformers or like you know, out of box to make platformers and really easy. Um, but other developers. Uh, and this one is a simple game. Uh, you got to use the keyboard for this game. But, uh, but I, I, you know, I experimented with this. Uh, this one's uh, Flexel's Power Power Tools by Proton Storm. Uh, it added a lot of great sprite functionality, buttons, clicks, uh, you know, all kinds of stuff. And eventually, um, eventually, we finally uh, adopted um, Cakes because uh, this technology called Cakes is. It's cross-platform. Um, it, it exports to Flash. It exports native Windows, Mac, and Linux applications. It exports to Android and iPhone. And uh, because of that, you know, it's also UIA compatible, which is really awesome. Um, and so we're working on the index, and, and it's still in its early stages. I've actually made a lot of progress over the last couple of weeks because I haven't had time to work on it. Um, and uh, the game is, you know, right now, all you can do is place the tokens. Um, the enemy AI is, is still really buggy. I was just working on it today and I still got a few bugs in it. But eventually, probably in the next week or two, I'll have uh, it actually somewhat playable. I mean, drop a token down, the enemy drop one down. And uh, as you look, you know, each token has an attack power and defense. And then they've got these little arrows pointing to each side. And, you know, and that just determines which direction they can attack, and, uh, and the goal is to capture the, uh, the other the, uh, the most number of tokens on the board by the end of the game, <coughs> and uh, 
eventually, hopefully next year, you all have that for now. Right now, it's still got the, it's still got a really annoying bug in it, and I don't know if it's actually going to show up here. But oh, it, 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 uh, right now, you're not supposed to be able to put tokens on top of existing tokens, but for some reason, the enemy AI is still doing it. I haven't quite tracked that bug down. <laughs> and another bug, which actually didn't happen, I'm really surprised, is that you know, as you, you notice, there, there were six of these backgrounds up here at the top at the start, and they were disappearing as, as the enemy placed its token, which you know, has a nice little visual, visual interactivity to it. But sometimes that doesn't, they don't disappear as they're supposed to. And uh, again, this is what this is the game we're working on. Um, it's something simple. We both we both really like playing Final Fantasy IX it's a catch master, and we both really want to uh, pay homage to it. And uh, but eventually uh, we're going to move on to something a little little more a little different. Um, and I don't know how many of you guys heard of Ouya? Yeah, yeah. I, I I picked up one. Uh, it's a great well, it's a new Android console. Uh, last year. They did a Kickstarter, and it was the most successful Kickstarter at the time. They uh, broke a million dollars in less than 24 hours and raised eight and a half million dollars by the end of it. And it's a it's a $100 console uh, you know, based on the Android operating system. And uh, and right now, well, here pretty soon, August 9th through uh, August 9th of this year through August 10th of next year. If you run a, a Kickstarter for a new exclusive game and you raise fifty thousand dollars, at least they'll they'll match it dollar for dollar, you know, if you're both Uya exclusive for six months. And so we're gonna try to get, get as much of this done as we can probably in the next month or so and then start working on our next project because you know, we really like the Uya and uh, it's a lot of fun. If you guys if you guys have heard of it, you guys want to check it out, it's a great game called Towerful. It's the best game ever for it. It's a Face off four archers and just kill each other. And uh, a lot of fun, a lot of cheeky fun. It's a couch game. So we're, we're, we're going to be working on something that's couch multiplayer like that. Uh, it's, honestly, it needs more of those games. Um, but, you know, that will come in time. This is what I'm working on. And uh, if you have any questions about it, then just let me know. So it looks like, guys, uh, is there's like strategy involved in that game? Like yeah, as you can see, like you know, right here, this token can have an arrow here, here, and here on the portal. Uh, so that means he can attack in four different directions. So if you, if uh, you know, if, if I were to place this token last, I could have attacked this one and this one at the same time. So like the first token you placed was really probably not optimal. Yeah. Well, <laughs> so it, it, it all depends. Like you know, see this one. This one was my first token that I played. It has a higher defense and it doesn't attack. And so placing it right here, where the only two arrows were facing away from from the other the other uh, the other spaces, means that any token that was placed next to it would have had to attack its defense. So if and if it had to attack, it goes by the attack and not the defense. Yeah. So like uh, you know, these two right here, because they have the arrows facing each other, they they this one's attack would have uh, went up against this one. So and uh, there's not any of those. These tokens in play, but we're also working on an elemental uh, you know, system where certain certain tokens will be uh, have a fire, wind, water, or earth ability, and, and it's basic you know basic elemental you know uh, fire beats wind, wind beats earth, earth beats water, and water beats fire, and it just adds different adds more strength against. Uh, and so that's what we're working on. And we're going to be working on other other aspects too, like you know blocks. If you look at uh, back to catch a master here. If you look at catch a master, you know this one uh, blocks off entire spaces. Um, since we have just ten spaces and six tokens for each. 
spaces wouldn't be able to affect each other. And so we're going to be able to, you know, to add variety in that, in that fashion too, to make the you know, panels uh, more interesting. Um, this is an earlier work before I added the cool board that I put in there. But, uh, yeah, so there you go.
sound in space, so you don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it is using the, uh, the Howler JS file. You don't have to sit there and talk to the Yeah. 
there's some there's some detections. Like if if what the server tells you your location is is, is off by a certain amount from what you say the location is, if it's over a certain value, then you need to be snapped back into place. You know, so you'll see some stutter sometimes if you've gotten too far off the mark. But uh, but usually it holds up pretty well. You know, and then if you're under a certain if you're under a certain distance. Conference or just a tech conference? Uh, it's focused on gaming. Yeah. Okay. Um, so you know, sort of an exciting thing for the uh, game community around here. Um, so yeah, if, if no one else has anything, I think that's uh, pretty much wraps it up. You can feel free to stick around. There might be a little pizza left. Sure. Uh, so yeah, thanks. Thanks everyone.